What do the countries want to achieve every time they launch a new transportation medium? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Transport people from one place to another quickly. The faster the means of transportation, the more the passengers can be transported. Not only that, it will give a push to everything directly or indirectly related to transport. Employees will reach earlier, distance will be squeezed, and energy will be saved during all that. But why are we talking about that? Well, China has built a flying train that seems to break all speed records. But what features does this train have, and how does it fly? Hello, everyone. Glad to have you back to another exciting episode of our channel. Innovation World brings you China's innovation stories and projects in different parts of the world. If you are new to this channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially China's development, you will definitely find our videos intriguing. In this video, we will look at the flying train China is developing, which is just on another level of speed. Let's get started. Imagine if you could sit on a train and reach your destination in a blink of an eye. This might seem like a dream, but China has made this a reality. Being the only country that can just build anything, China is presently developing a train that can apparently fly at a speed of 4,000 kilometers per hour. And how fast is this? Well, we have to compare it with the fastest means of transportation worldwide. High-speed rail has a speed of 320 kilometers per hour and is currently working throughout China. The fastest passenger-carrying aircraft can approach a speed of about 800 kilometers per hour. While if we talk about the bullet, it approaches a speed of 3,000 kilometers per hour. And here comes the flying train China is developing. It leaves all of them behind with a speed of 4,000 kilometers per hour. 1,000 kilometers per hour faster than a bullet. You might be thinking, how can a train run faster than an airplane that actually flies? Well, that's the right thing to think about. And the answer is interesting. The flying train China is developing works by blending various technologies. It uses the science fiction idea of magnetic levitation, also used in bullet trains. In magnetic levitation, the train doesn't touch the rails but levitates over them due to the magnetic field. To better understand that, you can imagine two same poles of massive magnets brought in front of each other. They won't attract, they will repel each other, and this repulsive force is used to drive the train. However, if we see the traditional train still being used in various countries, they touch the rail. They create friction with the rail, which produces heat and loses energy. All that could not boost the speed. If the speed increases up to a maximum level, the train will either start to feel resistance due to air pressure or heat up the wheels. The flying train China is developing follows the magnetic levitation style, but with a change. The bullet trains often reach a speed of up to 500 kilometers because they technically fly. They don't touch the rails. But since their speed is high, they have to face air pressure right at the head. No matter how streamlined the trains can be, air pressure will affect the speed. That's why the bullet speeds can reach a certain speed. Going beyond that speed won't make a difference before the train starts to face heavy resistance. Before we continue further, tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos about China's development, power, and influence on the world. Let's continue now. Here's what the Chinese engineers thought about the flying train that could reach 4,000 kilometers per hour speed. What they really did was to keep the train magnetically levitated while bringing the air pressure to zero. But how is that possible? Even though magnetic levitation can be used, how can air pressure be avoided? Well, the idea is to use a sort of vacuum tunnel with zero air. It's more coherent with the idea of a hyperloop in which a train will run on magnetic levitation. That hyperloop will be a vacuum tunnel without any aerial resistance that can reduce the speed. This concept was given earlier, but for the very first time, a Chinese aerospace firm has started working on it. The idea is to build trains reaching 4,000 kilometers after successful trials. They will first reach a speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour, then 2,000 and 3,000, ultimately reaching 4,000 kilometers. That's 1.5 times higher than the speed at which the J-10 fighter jet flies. Instead of just developing 1,000, 2,000 and 3,000 kilometers per hour variants in only factories and limiting the speed tests there, China will use these variants practically. Therefore, in the first stage, the 1,000 km per hour variant will be used in cities to offer high-speed transportation. Later, when the 2,000 km per hour variant is delivered, it will connect all cities that were earlier mostly accessed with flights. And in the third stage, a 4,000 km per hour variant will be achieved that will be used to replace all other transportation means. China doesn't want to put its transportation system on hold 
so that it can first develop the 4,000 kilometers per hour variant. Rather, it wants to use the latest the aerospace firm will develop. Simply put, China wants to evolve the system gradually instead of just revamping the entire transportation system. Once the infrastructure for the 1,000 km per hour variant is constructed, it will be sufficient for all the upcoming variants. Since all variants work in the Hyperloop and the same technology, no alternation in the infrastructure will be needed, which is an efficient strategy. But is a flying train that reaches 4,000 km per hour speed safe? It might seem that the 4,000 km per hour speed will be neck-breaking in real terms. But that's not the case. The flying speed is being developed using all laws of physics, which means that this train won't be of any harm to the human body. Since the train will be in a vacuum, no abrupt motion will be sensed by the person sitting on the train. In other words, traveling on the flying train will be the same as you travel on the subway train. China has to invest in building hyperloops and train unit production to start having flying trains in the stations. The research work is already tremendously successful bringing insights to Chinese scientists. They have uncovered that high temperature maglev technology should be used to make these trains fly faster over the track. It's exactly opposite to Western scientists' idea, which focused on low temperature maglev technology. The Chinese version says that metal shows superconductor behavior at high temperature, while the Western version says the opposite. It has now been declared that the Chinese version might be true, and China can be the country where the world will see the eight wonders the 4,000 km per hour flying train. What do you think? Will China succeed in all stages of flying train development? Comment right below in the comment section. Would these flying trains replace airplanes? Do you wanna watch more videos like this one? If yes, then please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing. Until the next video, stay tuned.